Howdy guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, I should say. We just arrived at Forest Haven. And I am now proceeding up the island. Whoa! Holy moly moly moly! It's a plant! And these are much like... Whoa, much like the, uh... Plants in Ocarina of Time, they turn into sticks. And you can even use a stick like that to stone them. And just make the whole process a lot quicker and... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's not as easy when you're fighting uphill, right? Oh, but look at this! We got a Boko Baba seed! You can keep it in your spoils bag. This is the source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps if you find someone to cook it up, you can make a potion out of it that will refill your life and your magic. Let's pick up another stick. You know what? Let's not pick up another stick. Let's just move on. Oh, another one? You guys are incorrigible. No, I keep swinging too soon. The cool thing about these 3D Zelda games is you can like walk right up to the monster and make contact with it and it doesn't hit you. It's only when the monster is attacking that it actually hits. Hmm. Can't hit that Octorok in the distance, huh? Well, it looks like we're gonna need to grapple here, so... Well... But you wanna be careful here because this jump can be really awkward. What I usually do is move up a little bit and you gotta turn a little bit to the right. Yeah, and don't get hit by the rocks. And no skiff fish! There you go, just like that. And then we can get up here, and, uh... See if we can grab us another Boko Baba seed here. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to hit my ass? Come here. <laughs> That'll never stop being funny to me. Just the way you bounce the rocks back at him. It's just so funny. Okay, now let's, uh, wait here. Well, no, yeah, we'll go ahead. I'm gonna move that to a different spot, because it's more comfortable right there. So, uh, yeah, looks like we got another one. Whiff, 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 whippleweed. Wing! So much whoa, 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 whoa. Like Wisconsin. I need to open my window, it's getting hot in here. Can't believe this for October. You just don't see this, man. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a pretty forest. It's a pretty bird. Pretty bird. Polly, you want a cracker? Yeah. Okay, so you can actually get up on these... Not right there. Get up on an island here. If you look around for long enough, you might start to see, like, a firefly that looks bigger than the others. And if you do see it, you probably want to catch it in a bottle. Not just yet. I don't think it's on that island. I think it's actually back here a ways. But I did see one, and I'm not delusional. I know I saw one. I can prove it to you. I just cut around here in the grass. You might actually have to cut the grass to make it appear. But I know I saw it. There's all kinds of stuff flying around. It just kind of spawns randomly. I thought there was like a sound that accompanied it, but I wasn't sure about that. But anyway, I'm not really concerned about that right now. We could always get it on the way out, actually. That might be easier, because that frees up a bottle for me to use for something else in the meantime. Anyway, we come around here and uh, cut some more grass like a lawnmower. And uh, did I just walk past it? No, I didn't. Holy crap. That is one strange looking tree. Oh man, what is that? Dude. This is a proactive commercial is what this is. Holy cow. Anyway, what you want to do is just roll into the tree, knock these guys off their roster here, and then just spin attack like crazy. And same for the green ones. Or you can just do whatever. Or we could try it now. Green Chew Jelly. Alright, awesome. It's a magical gelatinous ess essence, but it can't be used in its current form. Oh man, look at all the stuff! So much stuff, so little time. Did we get them all? Not yet, sir! Yeah, there you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Cutscene time. This guy's got the biggest chin. Uh oh, he's talking in that language again. <laughs> it's all Greek to me. Er? 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 And I jizz in my pants? 
I must apologize, I was an error. I saw your clothing, slowly I felt the longing for an age gone by, that longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I'm the guardian spirit of this forest heaven, the Deco Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Okay, I got some serious, uh, emphasis props here. So it is true that you have come here because you have agreed of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Corks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show gratitude. Something. Oh, wow. Look at these guys. They're all wood. And they got leaves on their faces. I guess it's better than having weasels on your face. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Trice is Right. The Trice is Right. What do you call yourself, Capri Sun? Well then, Capri Sun, these are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time long ago, the Koroks took on human forms, then they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they free people, but to me they will ever be my cherished little children. Oh, that is actually annoying to me, even. And I'm making the voice. Yeah, so they have a ceremony they do once every year. And uh, they're just about to do it now. Because if they don't, an ill fate could befall us. Well, we wouldn't want that to happen, so... Wait, what? Makar! Makar is missing, so you can't do the ceremony? Oh, yeah, right. He was probably just going on, on a date. You know, they always like to go to those scary places like that. Foolish little Makar! That stupid idiot! Yes, I overheard. I was standing right here, waiting for you to give me the pearl, and then you started talking about your little buddy. Makar, your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? No. I'm not gonna go rescue Makar. I'm gonna get back in my boat and go sail off to some random island and live out my days in peace. Well, that's what I wish I could say. Oh, I'm heavier. Dude, who could be heavier than me? Or, I mean... Well, it's... Just, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm light. I'm not heavy. <laughs> so he poops out a gore and leaf out of his shoulder. However, that's possible. And he says, uh, you need to go get it. Oh, what, just because you poop out of your shoulder, that means I have to climb? I shouldn't have to climb just because you poop out of your shoulder, dude. But, okay, fine. Anyway, well, we could talk to those guys, but I'm not gonna bother. They're just gonna explain how you use these things, but it's really pretty simple. You just get in one and jump to the next one, and just keep doing that until you get to the top. That one overshoots you a little bit, but it's not too bad. As long as you know where you're going, it's not too bad. Boing, boing, boing. There's another one up here. Well, this one you'll actually have to, uh, use the thing here. You might actually have to try this a couple times to get it just right. Oh, we got lucky there. <laughs> My practice run, I had to do that, like, several times to get it just right. I can't believe I got it right just now. And you only got so much time, you gotta straighten up the camera so you can make the jump. And there we go. We made it to the shoulder, and the leaf is ours. This is an awesome item, the Deku Leaf. Set it to use with blah blah blah. Now I'm gonna put that one where I have the grappling hook now, because that's how I've been using it, is using it on the X button. Swordsman, over here! Oh, I see the arrow of grass. Now you notice there's actually a magic meter under my heart, so that magic meter will dictate how often we can use the Deku Leaf. Now, what I'm actually going to do, let me see, because there's like a flower over here, and I didn't do this on my practice file, but according to my guide, there's a shit. Yeah, there's a shit, that's what I just said. Okay, so right here, this last flower before you get to the top platform where the leaf was, go past that platform, and I'm going to try to land in this flower right here. I wouldn't recommend letting go of the leaf, because it'll just take you down into it. And... If you use the leaf at the height of your jump here, you can get to a little cave up here. Peculiar looking place indeed. And this takes you... back outside. Oh, how very strange. It's a weird looking place, ain't it? 
let's take a look around here. Oh yeah, we're definitely up high now. And if you watch the map, notice that we're actually facing north, and the wind is blowing south. Now we're going to need the wind to help us on this, otherwise we're not going to make it. So, oh, I can't see myself. I'm conducting blind. Okay, let's turn it around. Now we can make the jump. Do 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 do. And the wind will help us a great deal here, but now I can't. Now you can use the camera to kind of see where you are here. Wow. Oh, hello. Y you're incredible. Did you just fly down here? That's the coolest thing ever. Hey, if you can fly, do you think maybe you can hit that switch over there? Huh? Can you? You can't see it? It's just over there, up toward the top of the Forest Haven. Don't you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't in this day and age? Ha ha ha, yeah, yeah, ha <laughs> ha, very funny. 